Thank you. Just, yes. And just state your name and. Hi, thank you. My name is Kate Miller. I'm with the American Gas Association. To reiterate what Mr. Weimer said earlier, thank you, Carl. <laughs> uh, we represent the gas distribution companies across the United States. I have three points that I'd like to make. First, reiterating Mr. Strauss's last question and what the lady from NFPA referred to. It's not clear what will happen to the standards that are currently incorporated by reference starting in January. To that point, AGA would encourage FEMSA to continue to incorporate standards by reference using your tools that you have available, the miscellaneous updates, and sometimes when appropriate, direct final rules. That takes me to my last point. In particular interest to our members are standards that obviously deal directly with pipelines and the materials that they're made of. One in particular is ASTM D2513. We urge FEMSA to consider adopting that, actually to adopt the D2513 09A version by direct final rule. As far as we know, there is no opposition to that. So we would encourage FEMSA to consider that tool a direct final rule. Thank you. Neil and I will address, because you have two parts of your question. And so on the, the front part uh, about addressing um, incorporation of standards and, and what are we going to do, unless we can make them available for free to the public online as of January 2013, we can't update, update them. So it's a little bit of a catch-22. Um, and while I think um, proposing a direct final rule option, if we get one comment, that's going to kick us back to the beginning, and we'll need to go through a, a, a more lengthy, robust rulemaking process anyway. So it, it won't necessarily be a shortcut. Um, so the way that FEMSA has been viewing what do we do with the standards until and unless we reach a reasonable resolution addressing the free aspect and the Internet aspect, I, I don't know what we will do. And that's part of the reason we're having the workshop is we're not sure that we will be legally allowed. We won't be legally allowed as of January, but even starting now, we're not sure that we'll be able to update any of those standards, which brings us to part of the working session, which is one of the things that um, you know, Jeannie and I wanted to throw out as a discussion point is if we cannot update our standards as of January 2013, what does that mean for safety? What does that mean for um, regulated entities' ability to comply? And, and generally, what, were some, what, what do you all see as some of the impacts uh, to that? We, we think we have an idea, but we would certainly welcome a much more broad discussion about what that may mean overall for for the industry, for safety, for us, um, for interested parties and stakeholders, if we cannot update standards as of January 2013. Neil, pull your mic closer, just a little bit. <laughs> on, on the direct final rule issue, we do have the authority to use direct final rules if we've set up procedural regulations to allow them in this particular area and if they're appropriate. It usually means making a decision that we are unlikely to receive any adverse comment. If we're going to receive one adverse comment, we're going to have to withdraw the direct final rule and start over again. So it, it's not always the best tool in an area like this where there may be some disagreement either about the whole standard or about a particular part of the standard. The question for those of you who couldn't hear it is how long from beginning to end it would take to get a direct final rule. Assuming that the procedures are in place to do that, a general procedural rule, it is much faster than the notice and comment process because instead of issuing an NPRM, going through a comment period, responding to the comments and issuing a final rule, you simply issue a direct final rule saying we don't believe we'll get any adverse comment, here are the requirements. It's basically under an exception to the Administrative Procedure Act, the good cause exception where we don't expect to get any adverse comment. So it could, it, it, how long it takes just depends on how long it takes to put together a, a rulemaking document. Mm 